Hi boys and girls, this is Coach Bernal, and um, hi, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Um, so in this video, I'm going to introduce a uh, one new soccer dribble drill, and it is called cone weave. And you can do this at home or in your backyard with your parents' permission. Remember, parents' permission. And so the supplies that you are going to need is soccer ball, cones, like let's say three, I have four right here, so, and um, tennis shoes, you need tennis shoes, it's very vital because I don't want you to hurt your feet, anything like that. I mean, if you have shin guards, tall socks, you can wear those too. Um, yeah. So, but wait. What happens if you don't have these cones? Do you have any idea? I'm going to let you think just for a second. Okay. I have an idea. You can use socks. Okay, I know it's kind of weird or kind of funny, but you can use socks as cones. So for our very first step, before we get into doing this dribble drill with your socks and with your cones, we need to stretch. Stretching is vital because it helps your muscles um, release some of the tension so you can, you know, enhance more when you do the dribble drill. So, the two stretches that we're going to do is called toe touches and lunges. And I think some of you are very familiar with those specific stretches, um, like we did in, um, at school. I'm Coach Bernal, and so remember I said about the lunges and toe touchers. So, here's how we're going to do it, okay? So, let's do this. So toe touchers, you touch your toe. See me right here? All right, looks good. And then the lunges, you're gonna put your foot out and then you're gonna go out and then down, okay? Just like this, all right? All right. Well, thank you boys and girls for joining. Thank you. The new dribble drill is called cone weave. Cone weave is where you're gonna put your socks kind of two feet apart from each other and then you can use cones, you can use, in fact, you can use water bottles if you want or some kind of rocks, okay? Um, so basically in this dribble drill, you're supposed to make sure that you can control the ball and learn to stay focused with touching the ball slightly. Touch it slightly, that is what dribbling means. So, I think I just gave you the answer to one of your vocabulary words. Dribble is, and it means, to slightly touch the soccer ball forward past the cones slightly touch it okay referee is the second vocabulary word i gave you and that means it is a person that on the soccer field watches all the players to ensure that they are playing correctly and doing all the soccer rules So this is how you should set up your um, cones or, like I said, socks, all right? So what I want you to do is I want you to go over and I want you to just slightly tap, slightly tap, okay? I mean, we're probably all first learners, but just slightly tap, okay? Slightly tap in between the socks and the cones. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I removed 
the socks. And I think the socks are a pretty cool idea as long as you have a lot more socks. Um, I'm just using four cones and it'll, it'll probably be better. So um, just touch, dribble is cut, slightly touching so you can have control of the ball, okay? And then you're gonna turn around and just make sure that you have the ball in your grasp, you know? All right, sounds good. For our reflective questions that we have today, what is something that surprised you today? And what is the most important thing you learned today within this new soccer dribble drill called cone weave? So, boys and girls, that is all I have for you today for soccer. I just want you to know that we all miss you very much and can't wait to see you in the classroom, can't wait to see you in the hallways at school. I just want you to be strong, be active, and this is Coach Bernal, and I will see you soon. Have a great day, and you can do it. Bye.